students welcome back coming to the next topic in the subject mobile computing was location management so how the location is managing in mobile computing net now let's see actually this location management deals with how to keep track of an active mobile how to keep track of an active mobile active mobile means you are talking to someone so your mobile is in active so this location management is dealing with how to keep track of your active mobile uh, that uh, that is active mobile station within a cellular network within a cellular network so uh, this is one cell and another cell okay so this is a cellular network so in this cellular network each cell is having one base station so here your your mobile is active at this cell so you are moving towards this side so your network will be up to here so after you are moving from one base station to another base station your call is in still active why it is still in active because of this location management this location management is keeping track of an active mobile station so each is uh, each base station is having some or all the cells are having one mobile station so here uh, your mobile phone is in keep tracking uh, within a cellular network okay so this mobile station is active when it is power on only now let's see what are the two basic operations of this uh, location management two basic operations so what are the two basic operations of this location management one is the location updating location updating and another is the paging so because of these two reasons your your mobile location is managing and your call is not disconnecting and your uh, internet is not disconnecting okay so there's two two basic operations this location management will deals with this is location updating so whenever you're moving from one uh, station to another station your location is keep keep on updating and it is deals with the paging concept so location updating here the inform informing the network of a device location so it's always informing to the device uh, means informing the network of a device so whatever the network you are using suppose you are using airtel network or uh, some idea network whatever network you are using it's always informing the network of a device location to the location management so this is a location updating automatically it is updating whenever you are changing from one cell to another cell one base station to another base station like that and coming to the paging here the paging is nothing but polling a grade of cells so these are the cells here the polling a, a group of cells to determine the precise of location of the device so don't be confused i'll explain uh, about this location update schemas and the paging schemas now so because these are the main basic operations that the location management is performing so now let's see the first one that is the location update schemes so what are the location update schemes so this again this location update schemes are divided into static schemes and the dynamic schemes let me write that the first one here is the static location update scheme one is static location update scheme and another is the dynamic location update scheme okay so there are uh, location updating schemas is of two types one is the static location update schema and another is the dynamic location update schema so here the static location update schema means it defines the frequency and occurrence of a location okay defines frequency and occurrence of 
location so whatever the location at present you are and you are in active uh, mobile station you are using the active mobile station it is going to define the frequency and occurrence of a location and updates independently from any user characteristics such mechanism is having the uh, it allows the efficient implementation okay so that whatever that uh, static location mechanisms allows efficient implementation and slow computational requirements why it is providing the slow computational requirements this static location update due to lack of independent user tracking so lack of independent user tracking this static location update schema is providing a low computational requirements so it's always updates it do two operations one is it always updates it either can perform always updates and never updates because this is a static it it can't be in one stage okay either it can perform always updates and it uh, never updates and location area areas so it defines whatever the location area you are having means that it's a static location so at present you are okay this location area at next where uh, you are moving to next location so that location area so this location update schema is always updates the information or never updates regarding the location area now coming to the dynamic location update schema uh, the dynamic uh, location update schema allow per user parameterization of the location update frequency okay so here it defines a frequency and occurrence of location whereas the dynamic location update schema allows per user parameterization of the location update frequency you are one user another user so many users are there so here each user parameterization of the location update frequency will be allowed in dynamic location update schema so unlike the static strategy a location updated may be performed from any cell in network taking into consideration the call arrival and the mobility pattern of the user okay so let me write that point unlike static strategies a location update may be performed may be performed from any cell in the network you can take any cell in the network in the cellular network taking into consideration taking into consideration the call arrival whatever the call that is arriving call arrival and mobility pattern of the user pattern of user so the dynamic location update schema can be uh, done in uh, threshold based or the profile based can be done in threshold based or profile based of the user so here the thre uh, threshold based is nothing but the time based time based movement based it may be a movement based or it may be a distance based distance based okay so this is about the location update schema static location update schema and the dynamic location update schema and the next one is a paging schema i said that location management is performing two basic operations one is the location update ski schemas and the paging schemas location update schema is divided into static and the dynamic and next one is a paging schema paging schema so what this paging schema will uh, do here while mobile device performs update according to their location update schema so so far what you have seen whatever the mobile device you are uh, having these mobile device performs updates automatically it is updating whether it is maybe static or the dynamic location update but it may be updates performs updates according to their location update schema the network needs to be able to determine the current cell location of user to be able to route an incoming call so this requires network 
to send a paging query. So for location update, always uh, why, whether it is a static or dynamic key, whatever the location that is the uh, updating. So that location update, the current cell location of user, the current cell location of user to be able to route an incoming call. So it has to route whatever the uh, incoming call is coming. So it uh, the uh, current cell location of user to be able to route an incoming call. So this requires network to send. This requires network to send why it is sending the network because to able uh, route the incoming call so this requires a network to send a paging query a paging query to all the cells to all the cells in the cellular network all the cells where the mobile device where the mobile device may be located may be located to inform it of the incoming transmission incoming transmission that is a paging I, I think you didn't understand what exactly let me explain so this is a cell okay let's take this as a Okay, let's take this as a cell. So, suppose this is a cellular network. One cellular network, complete. So, in cellular network, you are having so many cells or they. Each cell is having the base station, you know that. So, here, your mobile is here. And you are calling to some person here. Okay, you are, you are calling from this base station and you are calling to the person which is, he is present in another base station. Okay, so here... What this location update, whenever your call is, suppose you are on the moving position and this is also on the moving position. So, for each, uh, whenever your mobile is moving, the location is automatically updating. So, here the current cell location of the user to be able to route an incoming call. So, here whatever the current cell it is there, it is a present current cell. So, this cell is receiving the incoming call. A call is receiving. So, this cell has to able to route an incoming call. This requires a network to send a paging query to all the cells which are involved in this path. Mobile device may be located to inform it of the incoming transmission. So, it has to, this cell has to be informed that some incoming call is coming. So, from where it is coming, it has to route the path. So, this is the first cell, second cell, third cell. So, from this, the call is coming. Is a paging numbers first paging second paging third paging like that okay so this is about the paging schema so here the paging schema that is the incoming transmission can be done simultaneously simultaneous paging it can follow the, any of this strategy sequential paging sequential paging and intelligent paging intelligent paging so this is about the location management whenever you asked about what is the location management try to explain what is exactly the location management and what are the basic operations there are two basic operations of location management one is the location update schemas and next is a paging schema location update schema again divided into static location update schema and the dynamic location update schema thank you